Hey everyone, Dr. Z here once again, module 5. We're going to talk about a topic which you are probably very familiar with, if at least not familiar, maybe you heard about it. Cybersecurity, of course, in the context of digital payments. Uh, similar to our last module, I'm kind of breaking it down in terms of some of our readings, the videos, and of course we have the quiz and discussion there. So, you know, we get to focus quite a bit on cybersecurity and this thing called reg tech, right? And, and the combination, the interplay between these, and of course identification as well. So, I mean, indeed it can perceive as something of a catch-22, right? You've got the regulatory compliance, um, which of course, as we know, is important to implementing best practice and mitigating risks, but it is extremely hard to achieve holistic compliance given the exponential acceleration of new legislation. So what's the solution, right? I mean, simply put, your companies should consider the benefits to be derived from transforming their approach to compliance and risk management. More hires are not necessarily the best nor most sustainable way forward. That's really where reg tech, reg tech, sorry, <laughs> comes in. It's you know it's a technology beginning to be broadly adopted across the financial services sector. That it, it leverages machine learning, natural language processing, blockchain, artificial intelligence, and pretty much other cutting edge technologies to drastically enhance the ability of companies to overcome the challenging regulatory environment. Now, reg tech can be used to analyze large quantities of let's say legal text. Uh, and automatically identify areas where new compliance might be required in a transformed streamlined process. Indeed, you know, it is relatively novel key to unlocking the door to improved operational compliance, yet it should not be the only consideration for firms that may be looking to enhance their overall operational hygiene and security posture. So simply ensuring compliance is not enough. That's what you're going to read about in that article as well, by the way. Uh, companies must also be proactive in addressing their weak points. And here, enhanced cybersecurity is vital. So, you know, cyber attacks, they have enhanced in complexity as well as volume, leaving many security processes both inadequate and outdated. So technologies that were previously seen to be safe, let's say like, biometric or biometric authentication have suddenly become attack mediums while the use of new technologies with malicious intent spanning everything from deep fakes to machine learning is also pretty much on the rise. So thankfully there are advanced technologies such as machine learning empowered threat intelligence and managed detection response that can help tackle such threats. Yet there is often a lack of understanding of what's happening at the cutting edge of security. And indeed, how the security landscape itself is unfolding owing to, let's say, understaffed security departments. So the use of advisors and consultants can you know, transform this vigilance, instilling greater input into security hygiene and innovation to realize a host of benefits, be it uh, improved return on investment for a company to maybe optimized process efficiency or maybe some other kind of a game. Basically, you know, your better practices is equivalent to a bigger business. So the obvious answer to this challenge would be to dedicate greater resources to compliance and security activities, yet this is easier said than done, right? That's something we're gonna check on as well in, in this particular module. Unfortunately, you know, investment of time and effort into these areas, be it reg tech, be it cyber related best practices or other, are all too often seen as both costly and as potentially hampering overall operational effectiveness. People think of cybersecurity people as showstoppers, basically. So to overcome this hurdle, the way in which these parts of a business operate needs to change. So transparent discussions need to take place at, let's say, your executive board level to ingrain broad understanding of key issues. Now this can include the potential cost of let's say security breaches or fines for lack of compliance, but equally the fact that sound security and compliance practices can go a long way in supporting commercial ambitions as opposed to maybe offsetting them. So because of the sensitivity of the, let's say the financial services industry, many companies demand alignment with specific legislation and frameworks before conducting business. Now by being that first mover in relation to let's say new regulations, 
demonstrating security thought leadership and gaining related accreditations, a new pool of prospects are probably going to be probably going to be unlocked. So, you know, we're going to also learn a little bit about payments fraud, right? Because as digital payments volumes have increased dramatically during, let's say, the pandemic and beyond, more companies are selling their products and services through digital channels. So these payments have expanded into new areas like grocery deliveries, uh, vacation rentals, automotive sales, repairs. So in addition, more consumers are making purchases through, let's say, like a mobile app or a digital wallet, like an Apple Pay or something. What's more, customers prefer merchants that offer digital payments. And the growth of digital payments is not going to slow down anytime soon. All right. And with that in mind, criminals are exploiting the boom in digital payments. So unfortunately, the surge in digital payments has also attracted those fraudsters that are determined to, let's say, illegally profit from this trend. So as providers adopt and scale digital payments capabilities to match demand, it's critical that they prevent fraud and reduce losses while also minimizing customer friction. So once we're done with that, you're going to focus on the whole regulation side of fintech, right? And of course, we know that the future of fintech is promising. If you look at the past few years, they've been remarkable for fintech companies with a record amount of transactions in just about every major area, be it any continent, America, Asia, you name it. Now, the worldwide outlook, the global outlook for fintech investment is positive with various subsectors well positioned to actually continue evolving and new ones projecting uh, or, or new ones being projected to, let's say, emerge and flourish. So while fintech offers many benefits, it also poses a whole bunch of risks as well. For example, fintech companies tend to be less regulated than traditional financial institutions. So in addition, fintech firms may be more vulnerable to cyber attacks since they often hold sensitive financial information of customers. Uh, you kind of look at the global digital payment market size, billions and billions and billions, right? Almost 100 billion uh, just a couple of years ago. And it's going to expand, as I've already kind of mentioned as well. So the global digital payments transactions, which could be in the trillions, exist right now. So there's a whole bunch of stats out there. For example, how this is, you know, we're looking at a 70% increase year in, year out. So the increasing adoption of mobile wallets can be attributed to the significant rise in the use of, let's say, real-time payments. So, and we're seeing this here, right? I mean, we look at Zelle, we look at Venmo, more people want instantaneous transactions. Why wait a week for you to get the money? So your e-commerce service providers are basically making efforts to strengthen their competitive positions by moving more from that traditional credit card and consumer finance solution toward more of the customer engagement solutions that are leveraging digital payments. Once again, we're going to have a quiz. And of course, you have some videos as well that you get to watch. Uh, quiz, of course, is how we assess. Please do consider uh, participating in the discussion as well and make it engaging. I hope you're still having fun.